Okay, I just got this game and was watching a couple of YouTube videos and it seemed interesting and it did win Simulator uh, for 2012, so looks good. Uh, first time I've done any commentary videos or did any videos on the games I've been playing. I've been playing like for 15 years, but this is the first time. Uh, so it's all new to me. So, <laughs> Okay, it's a lot easier for me to do this and get heard with the music off, plus it's very distracting, so. Anyways, I picked a Mercedes truck. I figured for the same price, why buy the, it's just, uh, it looks like a, a real well-built truck. Anyways, I think that they got four different, four or five different makes or six makes. They're all European, not that familiar here in the States with them, but uh, I figure they're all going to be about the same, so as far as I'm concerned, I'll just go with the name. Okay, right now, what we have to do is we have to take missions. We have to drive for for other truck companies, you know, as as a driver rather than uh, own our own vehicle. Uh, let's see. Not sure how to do this. Let's see. Apparently, I'm right here, and Dortmund is is where we started. So. Uh, why don't I see if I can get something going to Dortmund? Okay, I guess this is our first job. I had when I first signed up, I guess they gave you a little test run, and uh, that was about all. So this is actually the first first run. Um, so you get, because I've it already happened to me. You get uh, fines if you do anything wrong. Uh, speed limit. So apparently there's cameras here and there, and. Um, and if you do any damage, which which I did on my first run, uh, you lose you lose points and experience points. And what happens is it's going to take you longer to get the experience. And without the experience, you get paid less, and uh, you're not able to buy as good equipment and, and so on and so forth. So the 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 thing is to try to, to try to get these jobs done. Anyways, I guess E starts it, and then um, right mouse button allows you to look both ways. Okay, and if you don't press the right mouse button, uh, the mouse steers use W and S for for. Uh, Reverse. Okay. Here we go. Okay, there's the gate right here. 
I guess we're carrying logs, let's see. Space bar is parking brake. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different gears. Yep, we're carrying logs. Oh, you can see the handle right, right, right here to the right of the steering wheel. Go up and down. That's the parking brake. Parking brake on. Oh, cool. I'll tell you, the scenery is just absolutely, just look around, the scenery is just absolutely phenomenal. Okay. and smooth. Oop. <laughs> I went to put uh, the sound up a little bit. Okay, much better. Yeah, nice and smooth. It's a little bit, uh, it's going to take a little bit to get used to the controls. I guess you can use the joystick and you can use, uh, Some of the like Xbox, I mean the uh, yeah the looks good that way. Okay. <laughs> when you switch from right mouse to uh, you got to put it back in the in the right position, otherwise. Here and uh, so you can steer. Otherwise, it kind of throws the angle off. But I'm sure I'll get used to it. Okay, hey, just uh, sit back and relax. And apparently, we're in um, Western Germany. And, uh, from what I hear, they did a real nice job with the, the scenery and everything, and trying to depict what it's really like, so it's beautiful. You see the bales of hay here, or bales of straw or something on the right side. Sunflowers, it's absolutely beautiful, the scenery, wow. Probably the best graphics I've seen in any simulation game by far. Okay, we have to turn, oh. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Almost missed that turn. Don't tell anybody what just happened there. I guess I better pay attention a little bit more. Uh, truck seems to be pretty nice, but it, you know, it's the beginner type truck. And I think it lacks a little bit as far as power on a takeoff and so on. But once you get going, it's beautiful. At all. I guess the speed limits uh, here in Europe are in you know, the 55, 60 range. Now in Texas, I mean, 70, 75, 80 is what every, all the truckers run on the expressways. I think they call it the autobahn here up in, in, the, in the States. They call it the expressway, but we're in Germany. They, these are autobahns, apparently. Okay, according to this we have uh, three hours and three minutes of game time. It's not real time, it's game time, I'm not sure how it works. And 185 kilometers to go. So I think the main thing is to pay attention, make sure I don't miss any turns, and, um, and arrive without any damage or speeding tickets. Or any tickets. In fact, I didn't get a speeding ticket. I got a $350 fine for 
I call a light light, and they they find you right on the spot. So can't get away with much on the, in this game. If you uh, if you commit a driving violation, you're pretty well going to get caught. They got it all set up. It's as though uh, Big Brother is, is watching you all the time. Now, usually I like to stay on the right lane, but um, yeah, see, stayed right in my lane because that turned off, and so this is actually the right lane I was in. Well, let's see if we can do this one run safely. And, um, and then try to build on that. We, we've got to make a lot of money. We bunch to buy our own truck. And uh, upgrades. Oh, you can hire other drivers. But you got to buy trucks for them and stuff. So. It's like everything in the real world. Gotta have a lot of money if you wanna if you wanna succeed. And that's what we're gonna do here. Okay, I'll be doing videos until um until we become successful big trucking empire going all over Europe. It'll be easier to let other drivers drive. <laughs> no, I enjoy, in real life, I enjoy driving well, mostly cars, but I've, I've operated everything from helicopters to blue Cessna plane to, uh, to uh, a crane uh, and worked on a farm a few years few summers when I was a kid. Uh, so I'm familiar with it, but never, never drove a truck for a living. I think I could have, I think it would be interest, interesting for a while, but I would imagine that it would have gotten boring for me after a while. So if you have any questions or comments, just uh, post them and uh, I will be reading. I'm not uh, saying I'm going to respond to everything, but if something is worth responding to, I will. But I will be reading the comments. Well, anything constructive, anyways. No, everything's operating pretty smoothly. So, um, I hope the sound is, is good. It's hard to tell. I'll have to. Re, re, uh, rewind it and listen to it. Being the first one, it's kind of hard to know. And the, the quality of mic and so on and so forth. This is Fraps. I got on 30 frames per second and it seems like the video looks pretty good. So, and everything is running real smooth. There's just, the game is just absolutely amazingly smooth. But let's not make any judgments too early. I think it's uh, these controls at times are going to be seem pretty decent, then other times, you know, it's amazing when you first start a game. It just seems like there's so much to do, and you really have to work at it. And then after a while get pretty good at it, it becomes a lot easier. But I think there's so much going on as far as the driving part that if you don't pay attention to what you're doing, you're going to run into problems real easy with this game, as you would in real life. So, no, I'm not sure if I can talk and play the game. This, this is a first test for me. I can usually play games pretty good, but talking and and when you're uh, you're concentrating on more than one thing, that becomes a little bit tougher. And this is the kind of game that you can get in trouble real quick by doing that. I would say. 
Um, also started, uh, I bought the Farming Simulator uh, 2013. I'm going to be playing that, so watch for my videos on that too. And, like I said, I've been playing for about 15 years, and I've played just about, oh, I don't know, maybe a couple hundred, 150, 200 games. Uh, I wish I had the videos on everything and had it all posted, you know. The nice thing about this is usually I'd be playing this and I'd be playing it alone, right? So now, uh, you're not really alone. You're kind of playing it with an audience, you know. So that's the cool part of the game. Okay, I'm going to have to make a right turn here. Better slow her down a little bit. Osfart. <laughs> I might not be pronouncing it right, but that's what it sounded like to me. Osfart. We're heading. And wh while I'm playing this game, I'm going to try to head to all the countries. So if you're from Germany, that's where I started. I figured it was a good place, central location in Europe to start. Um, but I'm going to try to England and uh, Scotland and uh, Italy and France and try to head to all countries as part. Uh, I, I guess there's, as you discover things, I guess uh, that gives you points or it benefits you in some way. Plus, uh, seeing that I've never been to Europe, what an opportunity to get acquainted a little bit. Because I hear... I hear they did a real good job on distances and on the locations of everything, you know, the GPS, so uh, I'm hearing it, it's pretty accurate in a lot of ways, so that's that's interesting. Even uh, the scenery, okay, Bremen discovered. Cool. You know, I like the way in Europe, the way they've got the lights up on top and on the side so you can see it. Um, in Texas there, they don't, do, and in the States, they don't do too much of that. They're on top and there's not too many places where you also see them on the side on a post like that. Which is pretty cool. I don't know if it's like that in real Europe, but <laughs> if it is, it's a pretty good idea, I think. Okay. To make a right turn here. Oh, according to this, we're uh, we're just about there. Wow, that was pretty quick. I told you, uh, 130 uh, game kilometers is. Uh, is different than what are we right over here? I'm not sure. That didn't sound good. <laughs> I think we... Okay. Let's see. It says you can skip parking, but you lose out on uh, bonus points, so we're gonna... After, after a few of the negatives, we need the bonus points.
Okay. Ah, beautiful. Apparently, whatever that was and that occurred when we got here didn't really create a problem. Well, 45 points experience for parking the trailer. I'm glad we parked it. Okay, we're uh, we're about halfway between level one and two. Okay, we gained 272 experience. Ah, apparently this is what they were talking about. Uh, skill point, you get skill points. Mm. No idea what I should spend them on. Liberty is up to 350 kilometers, 5% higher. Oh, wow, 25% more than 250. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Apparently this is a Mercedes dealer. And we're going to visit just to see what they have, but uh, we're, we're in no position to buy anything. Just get an idea how much money we're going to need. Okay, let's see. Oh, beautiful, the showroom. Apparently that's what we're driving right now for most of the... Okay. About a hundred, a hundred, uh, hundred thousand pounds, and we have what, sixty-four or sixty-three ninety-eight. So it's going to be a while. Oh, you have to be level sixteen to get this one. Let's see, five hundred ten horsepower. What was the last one? Three hundred twenty. Okay. Wow. You know what? I'd like to see all the makes as far as the cheapy trucks, how much horsepower they have and stuff. Okay, level 16. Okay. Well, apparently, around 100 grand, but then everything else is, requires levels. The prices aren't bad, but level 14, level 20. Level 14, level 14, okay, that's the only truck we could buy if we had the money, which we don't. Okay, hey, let's uh, call it quits there, and I hope you enjoyed it, as I enjoyed playing it, and uh, any comments or any questions, just uh, post them, and I will see you on the other side. Take care.